All right, so I think I told you guys this already. Hopped on a plane from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. Flew into West Virginia. Now we're here. Where are we? We are in Del Barton, or Del Burton, if you're local, uh -huh. West Virginia, at uh, our cabins. We have a couple Airbnb cabins awesome. out here. So we brought the whole crew to go ride in some uh, Kawasaki KRXs today and go rip the Hatfield McCoy trails. It is epic out here. Last time I was here, uh, we were with the gang and we rented some. And I gotta say, this is probably my favorite type of trail riding. I'm not a big mud guy. Florida's all mud. That's why I don't really like taking my side by side out much. But here it's kind of like rally trails, super like weaving in and out of trees. I love it up here. Yeah, it is like epic rally trails, super tight, like single track for these things. And we've got a really fun, fast crew. So we're gonna do some ripping today. Um, dude, there's like 13 units out here. Yeah, we got, we were, Oh, there. We took Broncos out yesterday, and today is all UTV. So we've got three brand new TRXs, uh, a rental four door TRX, and then we've got uh, three YXZ 1000. So we're squatted up. I know the videos don't usually do it justice, but I have to say, if I had to pick one other thing that's comparable, if not more fun than drifting, definitely be off roading side by sides. You feel Agreed. like you're you feel like you're invincible, like you're a rally car driver, and then you can just get away with so much in these I things. Agree. It's yeah. crazy. So fun. Who started these? Was it was the Razor the first one? Yeah. Yeah. That's and crazy. Evolved now, dude. Wait till you drive this thing. It's got fully live valve shocks from Fox on it. So you literally switch the button and you can go from soft, normal to firm setting. And it's like immediately noticeable. It's the technology is just wild these days. It's so cool. I'm excited. Well, thank you for having me out. Yeah, buddy. All right guys, we're taking a quick break from the video so I can share with you today's sponsor, Policy Genius. Now you guys know between the LZ compound, my home, all my cars, insurance is a big topic. I've got a lot of things that I care about and it's important to protect it, but it's also important not to spend too much money on the wrong insurance policy. Policy Genius is your one-stop shop to find and buy the insurance that you need. You can go to the link in the description, answer a few questions, and Policy Genius will show you policies that fit your search. Their licensed experts will look at your policy and try to find ways to save you money. And if you like what they find, they'll get you switched over for free. Policy Genius has saved new customers an average of $350 per year on home insurance. They work for you without bias or favor to any insurance company. And even after you're covered, they have claim support. And it'll be reshopped find savings when it's time to renew. Policy Genius doesn't add on extra fees. They don't sell your info to third parties and their top-notch service has earned them thousands of five-star reviews on Google and Trustpilot. Head to policygenius.com forward slash AdamLZ to get your free home insurance quotes and see how much you could save. It's an awesome company. You guys are going to like it and I want to thank Policy Genius again for sponsoring this video. And look who's been here already. What's up hey, guys? Hey, what's up, bonk? What are you whipping today? Uh, Vons YXZ. This thing, the sequential John? Yeah, sequential John. They're clunking I away. Think it's mostly just suspension work and stuff and a good cage, so. Sick. That'd be good to compare it to the new Kawasaki. You were that thing was a machine, dude. You were whipping it yesterday? That thing's such a hero. Yeah? I mean, like, you're a real race car driver in that thing. All right. I think this needs some more work. We'll see. All right. See y'all there. Yeah, man. Leave it to me. How big was the rock? I didn't see the rock. I didn't see it either. Did a really good job because these tires are extremely hard to puncture. Yeah. Like, I'm, I, like I've never broke one. Yeah. Well done. Thanks. Well done. I'm gonna go check out the uh, the other guy. I'm guessing it was one of these guys right here. Coming over that little crest, I didn't see her. Gosh dang it. Of course it's me. Well done, dude. I'm really impressed. Thanks. With the yeah. with the tire popping. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never. Uh, I've never bought the tire. I never bought one of these. I've bought tons of tires, but these things are unreal. But you got it right on the sidewall.
splash river through these trails and these guys are not slow covered in mud having a good time this unit's good so beautiful out here no, i think we're heading to like a restaurant or a bar out here and just gonna have a chill rest of the evening It's a little restaurant right off the trail. UTV parking. Rolling up, we're gonna go get some grub. Whew, good times. I didn't include any footage from that run, but I'm extra proud. I knew it felt like I had a little toe in, the steering wheel was crooked. When I hit that tree that you guys saw, I, uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's amazing how that like that and didn't break. It's ready. It's amazing how we all looked in and we're like, yo, everything I like, looks fine. fine. I felt it. I'm like, no, steering feels great. Everything's good. It was like one of those uh, magazines where it's like, what's different between these two pictures? And dude, that's crazy view. Man, I'm just. You smashed, dude. The tree was, it was this big. You know, I slowed down a lot. It was a tap. It was enough to where I didn't think I needed to yeah, get out and check like it. Tap. You've been tapping all day. That was yeah. a smash. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I'm still having a great time out here. Had one day up here in West Virginia. I love it. I got to make it a priority to come back. It was rad getting to share that Kawasaki unit. I've been so go, go, go. I totally forgot to even show you guys the sweet Miata that I rented. Uh, this thing I found is like one of the only two cars I could rent coming from the Charleston, West Virginia airport And I figured it'd be fun because there's a bunch of little twisty roads here And it was if you've never driven a Miata, they're always a blast all my Miata guys out there I know you love your cars. I love Miatas too. Maybe one day I'll own one But for now, I don't really have the desire, but I enjoy driving them when I can this trip has been such a logistical nightmare, but it's been pretty cool that we've made it happen thus far. Between stopping mid drift week, trying to come out to the middle of nowhere in West Virginia to go rip with the boys, and then now driving back to the airport the following morning because I want to go rip with the other boys up in the Smoky Mountains. My birthday's coming up soon, May 5th, so I'm just telling myself all this chaos is like my birthday week. But I guess to me it isn't chaos because I'm doing all fun stuff that I really want to do. And it's more so just me being ludicrous and trying to jam pack a schedule probably a little bit tighter than I should. Between the drift cars moving up and then trailers going down and people going everywhere and then the GT3 needing to go up. There's just a lot of moving parts and it's pretty cool that we're able to make it happen. When it's all done, I'm gonna be extra stoked. Not because it's over, but because we made it happen. Landed, took a one hour Uber ride, and we're here at Summit Point, West Virginia. We made a couple adjustments to the car. Nick's helping me tow plate it right now. Getting it ready to go out. I did a sight lap with Duarte. This track is freaking insane. You guys are gonna lose your mind when you see how rad it is. It's fast, it's technical, and it's gonna make some good tandem. So I'm excited to drive the car today. We got basically a half of a track day. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and uh, about to go drive. All right, guys, we're here at Summit Point. My GoPro, I forgot to turn on in the first lap, of course. I did a nice, clean lead lap, but now it's time to have fun. We're gonna follow a fellow, see if he puts down a good lead that we can chase. Still got clutches, you still got a few weird things going on, but we'll have some fun. 
get some good footage for you guys. This track is awesome. There's lots of elevation change, cool stuff. See how his car is in the dry. In the rain, it was a ripper. So he's moving fast. A right, little straight line handbrake. Does sick little downhill down here. Driving inside a little bit too much. We'll reinitiate. Woo! Car gets a little warm on this track because it's so long. And I don't think this car is the best ducting, so it doesn't really cool down that effectively. Still learning the layout a little bit. It's very easy to like take a wrong turn here. This part's sick. I think this is called a carousel. Oh god. It's narrow and there's like it's like a nerve ring corner almost. So sick. Climb in. Done. Car's getting hot. I think I need to do a cool down. Tires are getting hot too. Woo! I don't know why the car's getting so hot today. 230 is uh, a little more than I'd like. I guess it's a long track, but we'll just drive around, do a cool down, and have some fun. The weird thing is, one of my gauges is reading super hot, the other one isn't. 200 on my ECU gauge, which makes me feel a little bit better. My coolant temp sensor is reading like 220. Makes me think I might have an air pocket, but I don't think I have an air pocket. I just bled the car. Can't tell if I like how my car set up right now. It's like loose, but fast. It's like loose off throttle, so it kind of works, but then when I get on the throttle, this thing's freaking boogieing. You guys know I've driven a lot of tracks, and I have to say this is one that I've never been to that I am very stoked on. Usually the tracks I haven't been to are ones I like, eh, they're whatever. This one has all the little things that a track needs to be a blast and have a good time. I love this corner, this is so good for stacking up in tandem. Oh, here we go, we got Luke and Rudneck pulling up. I'm gonna drive with them, you know it. Gotta be careful because I'm gonna end up with the uh, third car effect. If Ruddy's a little offline, Luke's gonna be offline, and I'm gonna be even more offline. Probably not gonna be the best looking lap, but it's gonna be a good time. Ruddy, it should be a good match for the car. Already like practically passing him. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. driving like there's a third car behind him. It's a little blast though. I'm not complaining. Let's go baby. Falling crazy man Luke around. Oh, if I could run this. <laughs> I hope you guys could see that. We're having a blast out here. 
we'll see if we get black flagged because of Rudnick. Hopefully Luke doesn't uh, rocket ship away. And then he rocket ships away. Let's catch up. Car's got a lot of forward driving it right now. But it's like very loose on the side bike. I think I should be able to fix that with some tire pressure and uh, So that would usually mean taking a little bit of toe out, but I should be able to get rid of some forward by taking some shock out of the car and then going down in tire pressure to give myself a little bit of side back. <clears throat> I know you guys like when I talk about technical stuff, so I'm going to try to do that more often. And I've gotten kind of lazy with some of that stuff. Alright Luke, are we doing cool down or are we drifting? Come on here buddy. It's a straight. Oh god, he's flying! That's a risky corner to fly into. And he doesn't drift. so happy. A little mini Nürburgring. Alright, we're gonna chase Rudnick. He says he wants some dents in his doors, so I guess we'll give him some dents in his doors. It's really awesome seeing Rudnick get more seat time. It was a really big bummer when he was having issues with his E36 and kind of phased out of drifting, so it makes me so happy to see him out on track and absolutely shredding too nonetheless. He's driving really fucking well. get the same enjoyment that I get watching the video. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. It's kind of scary for me because sometimes I don't really know where the corners go. There we go. <laughs> Ruddy's off the track again. Come on, buddy. Probably one of the most fun laps for you guys to watch just because Rudnick was freaking throwing down the gauge to me like in his bumper. <laughs> oh, I'm giggling like a little schoolgirl. What a great lap. Rudnick makes me so happy. <laughs> oh my god. What a funny boy. <laughs> Dude, that was the the most gangster and also funniest lead line to watch ever. Just dropping tire everywhere, your bumpers flailing around. I had like some really good corners and some really bad ones. 
It makes me so happy to see you out here driving. I'm so glad you did this, dude. I'm trying to shred, man. Hell yeah. I hope you got a dent. I think it's more like a mark, but I did hit you a little harder than a... Sign it. Hell yeah, I'm going to check. All right. All right, we're going to give a shot at following Colette in her new freshly built C6. Oh, it's fast. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up. get her some chase practice she doesn't really know a lot of people um, so she's been kind of taking it slow with getting chase practice not the best lead for me or chase I should say she's got so much dig and I don't so it's it feels like I'm going to go flying off course. I'm having so much fun. There's only an hour of track time left since we had kind of like a modified session today. We're just following run next to blast. I wish I had another GoPro, but Clutch is in her car. Still give her some leads so she can uh, get more comfortable in her car. We got Clutch Kickers coming up soon. She's about to go back out. I'm about to go back out. We're going to have some fun. Some that may sound like danger. To me, that sounds like a good time. Door fender. Oh, this tire's really done. <laughs> Brendan told me he was out of tire. Well, it looks like this car is getting all new panels when we get home. You know what though, I'm not even mad. I've had so much fun with this car and that's the same, the exact reason why I built this was to have a missile car, even though it's not a missile car. Uh, have something like my Cream S13, where I can have something like that happen and not cry about it, because this car was destined to be 
buried in a grave before I even bought it. So no sad times here. Josh knows how to do fiberglass repair sick. We got Ray and Randy both that are capable of repainting this thing. So nothing but good times. Rodneck, what did you do? I ran out of tire, ran out of skill, dude. Nah, That's it. I, I already said, you warned me that your tires were I bad. went up to Grant. I was like, Adam, I, I'm running out of tire, dude. And you're like, you're good. And I'm like, okay. And then. I got a title. Rudnick totaled my S15. Dude, that's oh, perfect. That's Hell yeah, <laughs> dude. I bet you get good views, dude. Honestly, it's not that bad. Is, is this expensive? So it's the, it's the only fiberglass left on the car that didn't need to get repaired, but... Well, that's perfect. Now you just got to replace the whole thing. I did just, you a favor. Just give me some kind words to Josh, because Josh is watching this right now. He's like, I need to repair that one now, too. Josh, I love you so much, and I'm really sorry. And shout out to Josh. His Instagram's right here. Everyone, show him some show him some love. He is, he's going to make this car look like brand new when we get yeah, back home. Yeah, blow so up that. his followers, because I was the last asshole to crash into Adam. Dude, it's the best thing, though, because like having a fiberglass guy, you never get sad when you crash. Yeah, I'm so happy I warned you, though. Yeah. Because if I didn't warn you, I would have felt like even more like an asshole. Even it, though I still feel like an a-hole. It still would have been fun. Yeah. Oh, I need to see the mark that I gave you. Can you show me? Oh, you got to sign it. Come on. All right, let's go. Came over to show them my work. Dude, it looks good. You brought me over here and made me sign it. Yeah, honestly, my work looks a little better. Yeah? Yeah. I got more damage. What does that mean? It oh, means, the crash. Yeah, the crash. the crash. The real crash. Show this me. was the... <laughs> You told me to, to put it on your door. Yeah, no, I'm happy you did it, but I'm saying that my crash on your car looks better because there's more damage. Oh, yeah, this over here. Yeah, no, I got We already fixed some of it. Dude, my fender was, like, out to here. Headlights aren't cheap, dude. It's have you gone. Looked, you have, stole it. Have you looked up the prices for headlights on these? No, I'm going to go pick it up and reuse it. I don't care if it's shattered. They're, like, three grand. You're an idiot, dude. Stop <laughs> You're that. An You're nonsense, an idiot. Stop that nonsense, dude. Stop that nonsense. Only takes one to know one. It's total. <laughs> you it's total <laughs> is, am i wrong dude before drip week this thing was mint and then you had everyone yeah, that's that's now it says what a trooper why'd you just call it mint dude this thing was junk there you go <laughs> <laughs> d's giving us a ride to dinner in the most gangster drift week car not only is it my favorite color f80 red guts too how's it been on track Perfect. Yeah? After we fixed the the little issue we had in the beginning, this car has been dead on. I want to drive it because when I drove Jordan's, his was a little sketchy. This one is like, it's like driving an E36. Hell That's yeah. That's how I can describe it. That's really, it. Really, really good. Easy to drive, perfect amount of power, and it just gets it. Hell All yeah. day long, not even fuel we put in it. And it's it looks sick, it. too. I love this thing. Uh, the scenery here is so beautiful. Beautiful. Yesterday I was just like, uh, the whole time. Jumps? Got a little Mexican food in beautiful West Virginia. Look at that sheets. I love sheets, I wish we had time to go. Now we are Ubering to the airport an hour away. It's gonna be very close. Will we make it? Find out soon. When you say